Well, today is Friday. All day long, man. God. All day long. I've been waiting on this since Monday morning. Man, y'all got the good jackets back. We do have those jackets. The color um, on them. They do have a hood. I know our uh, people like them with the hood. Yeah. Um, there is a few people that don't like the hood, but I know when we, we get them without the hood, that's when everybody has um, the most complaints. But I like the jackets. We had this color, um, was it two years ago? Because yeah. last year was the black ones. This color was really popular. Mm -hmm. The black, it sold well, but these tend to sell out a whole lot quicker. So yeah, I like that. We uh, we've had them for a couple of weeks. We just hadn't put them on the truck because Mississippi well, can't. 110 degrees. Can't make up its mind. You know, we had that one weekend where we were down in the 30s, and we're like, okay, we're gonna stock the truck with jackets, and then you the look at the forecast, and it was 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah. It's like maybe we shouldn't um, stock them just yet. So. Absolutely. Man, this weather is nuts, though, because we've had the air conditioner running wide open at the house. And then, uh, I think it was, what, 80 day before yesterday or something? It's ridiculous. Yeah, um, my middle daughter cannot sleep if she's hot. If she's mm -hmm. hot, she's not going to sleep. And she's been making sure to cut that air on before she gets in bed every night. So, yeah. um, I don't blame her. I like sleeping with air, too. But I'm ready for winter to get here, though. Not really like winter, winter. I'm looking at like 50s. If I could just I'm get that fall be. weather for a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, the one where you can sit outside by fire, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, but we tend to normally have two days where that can happen. And that may be dinner in a week. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Right. Uh, it may be a Monday and Tuesday. And then it's like Boop, cold. Cold. Yeah. Uh, so. Which guys, I, I hear it all the time, you know, especially in the comments. They're like, you guys don't know what cold is. 35 degrees, not cold. I'm like. If you lived in our July and August with the humidity and heat we got, yeah, you'd think 35 was cold. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a, uh, you know, there's, there's animals that can live up there with all, all the cold, and then you bring them down here and they'll die of heat exhaustion. So <laughs> yeah. um, maybe they don't know what hot is. It's funny when we was at SEMA, was walking down the strip, and there's this one little place we go that's down this alley. And it's got a lot of really good restaurants in it, and it got down to probably high 50s yeah i would say like just enough like i was still wearing shorts and you know just a light hoodie was perfect you know they had the street heaters on yeah all the way down through there i'm like okay yeah we, we like finally somebody more cold natured than we <laughs> so. i get it uh i know we went to uh an expo and it was the same way it, they cut the street heaters on about 50 and it was like eh, not not yet yeah, yeah. but uh that's part of it I think, well what new cool exciting matco stuff we got today so uh we had our meeting um last week and my order got messed up so it didn't come in in time for the new cool Maco tools so what we've done this week is we just went back to the basics okay um it seems to never fail so we started making some deals with you know sockets and stuff like that. So, actually sold a cart out of it. So we're okay. If you notice the the black and orange cart's not there. Yeah. Um, now we do have a lot of new stuff uh, on our way as far as the uh, you know the Milwaukee stuff. We're not uh, we're not not getting stuff in. It's just my order got messed up and didn't get processed, which was my fault. My it didn't send. I have to send it by email, and it it failed, and I didn't notice it. So it was on a uh, it was on a Saturday, so I was ready for a Saturday. But oh yeah, um, no we we've been uh, trying to figure out uh, how to get some new customers and stuff like that. Normally, new tools are the best way to do it. But going back to the basics, we've sold a bunch of drill bits this week. We've mm -hmm. sold a bunch of screwdrivers, sockets. Um, I think we were actually sold out of screwdrivers. Um, sold out of the mechanics link uh or the stubby drill bits so i'm good with it hey um, selling out's a good thing right yeah but uh we did get a chance this week to go talk to some kids at uh the local college here at northeast uh and that does open our eyes to you know we say we we've got nothing new but to them a lot of this stuff is new because they're used to um the other tool companies um you know, you don't get like Snap-on does their flank drive, and we have ours um, to where the 
teeth of the wrenches and stuff. So you can see the, the deal there. So to us, this is old news. Um, and to most of the people watching the video, this is, you know, okay, well, that's nothing new. It's, we've had it forever. To them, that's new. They didn't, they didn't even know what that was for, why it was there. Um, they don't know about our screwdrivers and the handles and how they're designed for mm -hmm. the non-slip, but also to keep the everyday mechanic from getting a uh, carpal tunnel and everything because it will happen. Right. Um, so sometimes you just have to get, go back to the basics and explain to them, you know, like the Opti Torque with our ADB sockets. Um, it looks like just a regular socket, but it does have the Opti Torque. So it makes sure and hits the, um, the bolt or the nut and, and more spots. So it's not just the corners. That's something big uh, when we were talking to them. Uh, we were explaining to them that sometimes when you buy uh, a cheaper socket, not all times, but sometimes what'll happen is you'll actually start to round right. the bolt and stuff. And the instructor actually brought up a good point about like in the turbos and stuff where it's really hard to get to. Mm -hmm. That happens, it's not good. So uh, you've also got, um, we were explaining to them about some warranty deals and stuff like that. And, you know, they brought up, um, which I don't know if we've ever brought it up on the video, but they had act, the instructor had actually had his truck broke into and all this stuff was going well. Luckily, when uh, another distributor found it, they were able to verify it with a law that it was this guy's stuff because of some serial numbers. So right. that's always good, which, you know, that's stuff we don't think about. So mm -hmm. uh, ratchets, um, I don't want to get too far, but they are um, they are trying to make some, some things with the ratchets better. Um, it's going to be over time. They're not changing the handles or anything like that um but they are going to try to make them they they took i'll put it like this they took them in they seen the fail points we all know the gear right. breaks so they've uh, took it in studied that and they are going to try to make that better so um, they showed us how that was do it i, I don't want to get too far into it because um, they are talking about um it's going to be a little while before it all gets um, done so when it when they release it out i will talk more about it and mm -hmm. how it's going to do it and everything like that but so we did. We did have some exciting stuff happen this week. Uh, have y'all heard when y'all are getting y'all's version of the extractors yet? I have not. Um, I need to check on that. I think I said I was going to do that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we did get to talk to um, Astro this week in one of our meetings, and uh, that was pretty cool. To, just because they make um, some of our stuff for us. Uh, and we asked them to, to try to do some d different things and stuff. And it, it really come down to some interesting facts. Um, they're the ones that actually makes our stubby drill bits. Mm -hmm. And they were telling us how they made them. And, you know, the, the, this is a different metal and stuff like that. So pretty cool to find that out. Yeah. Um, and to find out really where it stands out different and stuff like that. Um, they were explaining to us why the, the Actual, I don't know if anybody's ever paid attention to the, uh, well, that box is, there's, I thought we were sold out of these. I told somebody yesterday that our inventory must have been out. These are the stubby. Uh, do you have a regular hyper stub? So you can actually see that the actual, I'm, see how it's a little bit shorter? These are a little bit different. That actually come into a key fact of when they were testing them, they found out that they could the cobalt couldn't be the same length. So the shorter you go, the, the more difference there'll be. Um, but the main reason for that was when they were cutting, they found out that if this wasn't the right length, uh, it actually did worse. Right. So that's pretty cool it's you know we have a lot of guys that think the only difference in these is in the One's color cobalt <laughs> yeah and uh that's that's just not the fact um which they they were looking at we talked to them about could we get the cobalt in the bigger sizes uh and they were explaining why that's kind of hard uh, the bigger sizes of course um uh, the bigger um they go the 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 amount of price that it changes and the quality that that right. gets taken away so um, that's pretty cool to learn about these things and stuff like that which there's always going to be somebody that 
um, tells us who makes it, but you know, we just said Astro makes these for us. So sure. uh, we do have, uh, there was some new pry bars that they released. Um, that was gonna be in that order that I was gonna show today. So we'll talk about them next week. Are they changing the design or the handle or anything? Well, or? Uh, on the, you talking about on the pry bar? Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was these here, but they've oh, the changed, heads. they've changed the lock here okay. um, and how that's made. So um, that's pretty cool. I wish they'd cool. come back out with like the old style Matco handle again. Oh, you talking about like on these? Yeah. yeah. Um, like I almost cried when I had to give you my old one when I warranted it. I love that old handle, man. And that's the only thing, and I'm, you know, they don't, the pry bars don't break yeah. a lot. So I've sold a bunch of these style, and, and I'm I'm okay. I like these handles, um, but a lot of the guys that break them's had them for five, six, seven years. And the bad part about it, I broke mine on your truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say you didn't, because I think that was all there. But uh, that sucked. I, I think we did was... a video on that. Um, yeah. That was right before I sold the Zuzu, yeah. right? I think we was doing it. like the PM on it or whatever yeah. before we sold it. Yeah, yeah. so we, we did. That's when we cleaned the diff filter and all that. But man, yeah, that sucked because those are <laughs> my favorite. You know, I'd put the snap-ons up. I was only using the Matco Pry Bars at that point. And yeah, I know they went to those because they're made in the USA. So, um, But the other ones did have a unique feel. I, I said five or six years. I've been going, I've been doing this for about five years. Um, so there's probably some of those. I bought mine when I first started, so there's probably some of those people that had them for 10, 11, 12 yeah. years. Those are uh, good pry bars, man. That handle on them. Yeah. Uh, In my opinion, that was the best handle of any pry bar I've ever held, by far. <laughs> and then they changed them to the new style, which they're nice, but they yeah. ain't the old ones, you know. It's definitely not the old ones. Um, this is about... Uh, as close to you get as the old one, just because it's bigger. Cause see, these really shrunk in size. Yeah. Um, but that's still not the. That's still not. That's not mm -hmm. the old. Uh, like I said, it, it's as close as you get, but it's not. It's not there. Um, but I guess time changes stuff, right? That's it. So, but we've also been pushing our Silver Eagle sets for Christmas. Christmas is coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been pushing. So our silver. somebody was asking me. And this is the best way I could explain it. Like, why does Matco even have Silver Eagle if they sell the regular? I said, the same reason why they have ADV. You know, both of them have the same lifetime warranty. You carry them on the truck and they get them replaced. But not everybody can spend the money for, like, the top tier. You know, I yeah. said, it's the same as Snap-on and Blue Point or whatever, you know. And That's, uh, that's usually my main point when somebody asks me. I was like, well, you know, look at Snap-on and Blue Point and, um, the, the main reason is is because you're going to have starters. You're going to have people mm -hmm. starting out. Um, luckily, uh, the kids at this local college northeast up here, they get a student discount, and it's pretty incredible. Um, so they, they can afford some of that stuff. But um, when you are starting, they're, right now mechanics is in need bad. Yeah. Um, they'll pretty much hire you and train you on the spot. Um, when you start out like that, you need tools. You need quality tools because, again, if if, if the screwdriver, we all know cheap screwdrivers is going to mess the, the the Phillips head screw out yeah. every time. Um, the flathead, we know that that's you know that is what it is on that one. But um, you need to be able to afford it. Those are good quality. They have a lifetime warranty. They are chrome. Um, it just gives us something else to be able to sell. It's just, yeah. and, and I think that's the big thing with the Milwaukee too. It just gives us something else to sell. I don't want nothing taken away. Honestly, I'd rather see a guy buy a chrome Silver Eagle set and a good set of impact sockets. Yeah. Because, you know, we've talked about this a billion times. You can use impacts on a ratchet, no problem. It, yep. It's not going to matter. Because it's, it's kind of a rare thing to reach for chrome anymore, or at least for me. Like, if I can, you know, I, I stick impact sockets on ratchets all the time. It bothers yeah. me none, you know. <laughs> well, so. and I hardly ever even use my chrome. But now the instructor up there, he made a good point to his people. Uh, he told them when they bought something, buy the, the impact first. Mm -hmm. um, because of that, you're going to use an impact more than sure. you use a, a ratchet most of the time. Electric's out there everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, which he also wants them to buy air first. Um, 
That's smart. Not not to not buy electric, mm -hmm. uh, but he wants them to buy air first and then buy electric later on. Um, we we had talked about you know the efficiency. The um, there's going to be tools that's a luxury, and then there's going to be tools that'll get the job done mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, so what he when his reasoning for the impact was you're going to use them more, but the first time you put these on the impact, uh, it's going to start messing this side yeah. up here, and they're they're liable to bust, mm -hmm. throw apart, crack, um, and stuff like that. Well, I hear people all the time, well, I don't care if they crack, they're a lifetime warranty. Well, it ain't about the cracking, it's about what it hurts when it cracks, right? Yeah. Like, well, hand, it's, a, it's a danger. Because oh. if it's spinning, like, those impacts are cooking, man. So, like, if it cracks and then it spins on the nut that it broke on, yeah, like, it cut the piss out of you. Like, hey, if you don't care about your hand, I don't care about your hand either. Like, yeah. hammer down, you know, so. You know, there, there's there's a there's a couple there's a couple features there, um, and I don't want to make nobody mad when I say this. You know, I say I try to warranty everything. And anything. Sure. Yeah. Um, but cars have warranty on them too, right? Mm -hmm. If I drain the oil and I drive it, it's not under warranty. Um, if you have to do it once or twice, that's fine. But if you're handing me that socket every other week mm -hmm. and it's broke, I'm gonna try to push you to buy that. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna warranty this. We need to get you an impact exactly. socket. And people, I guess people think nobody notices, but you can tell immediately. Yeah. by looking at the square drive side if it's been used on an impact. Right. Like, there's no, you can't do that with a ratchet. Yeah. You know, it's not well, and, <laughs> and I know you pay good money for this stuff. Yeah. I know that's going to get brought up. Well, I paid that much for it. Well, I paid a lot for my car, too. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens is we have to buy it first, and then we warranty it for you. And when we send it in, Maco says, okay, yeah, this is warranty and reimburses us. So the computer, after so many times, will actually red flag it and say, hey, are you sure you want to warranty this mm -hmm. if it's been the same the same deal? Um, if it's an impact socket and you crack that thing every day of the week, every day of the week, I'm gonna hand you another yeah. one. But the problem is, Mac- That's the tool's fault. Yeah, not the, that's the, the tool fault. fault. But the problem is, once you do that so many times with this one, they're gonna look at it and they're gonna say, hey, look. That guy needs to buy impact. Th this so guy's yeah. did this uh, three times in the last certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. We're proud you're helping your customer out, but, but explain to him next time. And they don't know if I'm explaining the issue yeah. or if I don't care, but they're gonna say, hey, we're just letting you know, you need to, you need to explain to the customer because if you mm -hmm. don't, we're not doing it next time. They're, well, not, they're not taking it out of the customer, sure. they're just telling me they're not gonna warrant it. So, Well, I mean, the impact sockets are better on your impact. They work better on the fasteners. You know, that's what they're designed to do. And yep. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to use impact sockets. Yeah, well, I think put best, uh, if, it, if you take a piece of that to the eye one time, you, you're probably blind in that eye. So um, not, to, not only that, I mean, I can see it you know, what if you're doing it uh, and it flings and hits a windshield or, it, or a side glass? It can cost you a bunch of money. Quick. I'd rather be worried about that emergency room visit because well, I've had stitches from this shop and it <laughs> sucks. Stitches suck. Um, <laughs> they do. Like their weekly payments is not near as friendly as the tool truck <laughs> weekly payments. No, they're, they're pretty aggressive. They, they do like so. to... And you don't talk about elevated prices. Hey? Absolutely. They, they like, definitely. People elevated. can say that tool trucks make the money. No, the hospital's where it's at, buddy. That's, it's like 28 bucks for an aspirin. You know? That's it. Well, we and we've talked about, um, you know, the service trust and stuff like that. If that, you know, tool trucks ain't the cheapest. I mean, we told them at that at the school, you know, mm -hmm. tool trucks ain't cheapest. And we had people pulling stuff up, you know, well, it's this much here. Well, it, that, that bothers me too, because like, I remember when I first started out, it was hard for me to spend a hundred and fifty dollars on a lot. Yeah. But being able to make that weekly payment, I could get some nice stuff, you know. So when we were t when we were talking about that, um, especially starting out, it, if you're if you're a seasoned tech and your box is full and you're wanting this one thing, mm -hmm. then yeah, you can go spend that money all at one time. Yeah. But when you're start let's take our instance. Um, I was working. We had a child. I couldn't afford, my mm -hmm. paycheck was not, because I wasn't doing the amount of jobs. Sure. You know, you get them good paying jobs mm -hmm. as a, a senior tech and you can get them done super quick. We all know commission, it's gonna pay you quicker the more you do. When you're learning uh, on the fly, cause I didn't go to school for it, when you're learning on the fly, uh, you, your paycheck's not big enough to justify exactly. that. Well, uh, I wouldn't have, and I, I've said this a hundred times, you know, like I wouldn't have near the tools or the quality of tools if it wasn't for the tool truck payment. Because right. 
dude, 250 bucks for a half inch drive ratchet. That's, that stings. Like, yeah. you know, even Donald Trump would be like, oh, that's a little steep, you know, all at one time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and a lot of times people don't realize if you come on and say, hey, I'm paying all at one time, you're going to get a discount. Yeah. Uh, nine times out of 10, I, at least from what I've understood, mm -hmm. I know that's what we do. I don't want to speak for every distributor, but I would think if you went on there and said, hey, I'm buying this all at one time, what's the discount? Sure. Sure. Um, you're probably going to get a discount. Um, same way, uh, but you have that option to pay in payments. Uh, and a lot of that is uh, just because we have to pay a tool bill too. Yeah. Uh, that's the biggest misconception that Maco supplies us, this, us these tools and then we just sell them and then they charge us once they're sold. That's not it. Um, everything you see on this truck has been paid for in seven days. Um, so therefore, if it takes seven, eight, nine weeks to pay for it, um, I've done had to buy that tool once, twice, three times again. So, sure. um, you know, I've said multiple times we have a family uh, and there's somebody that always comments that that shouldn't matter, um, that he won't buy something elevated just because of that. It's not elevated because I have a family. It just means I can't give it away mm -hmm. just because you want to buy you a mean super cheap. You y'all don't have to have money to live on? You well, you know, have to have money to live on. You know, that, that's the thing. Um, all you two guys are rich. That's that's what everybody thinks. Everybody that owns everybody the business is rich. Thinks, yeah. It, yeah. No, that's these not guys it. are rich. But yeah, the payment thing is is where it's at. I mean, that's where a lot of our sales come from. Is hey, you're able to make a payment. Mm -hmm. We do have those customers that come on here and pay all at one time. Um, we're going to visit one as soon as we leave here. Yeah. If he comes on here, he's going to pay cash, and he always says, "Hey, what's the?" And he does it smart. He says, "What's the cash price? Mm -hmm. This is the cash price. What if I pay it out?" This is the pay it out price. And if it if by some chance it's close, he'll pay it out. Yeah. But if it's a big difference, he'll pay all at one time. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. You know, I, I get paid in, in either way. That's great. Yeah. Um, but. Well, there you go. You've educated the public once again. Every week you teach somebody something. I get taught stuff too, believe it or not. I read the videos and uh, read the videos. I read the comments and I, and I learn stuff too. Um, I try to remember the questions, but I- There's it, some interesting ones in there, I think. There is. Yeah. Every week. It's amazing. Yeah. It's kind of comical sometimes. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Like always, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. If you need something, use that weekly payment. It's a way to get it. See ya.